What's up, human? Thank you for being on the channel. If you wish to join the Terrence family, punch the shit out of the subscribe button right now. A former gangster fresh out of prison wants to change his life for the better and must save his 10-year-old son who has already chosen a gang life. This movie stars Glenn Plummer as Bobby and Byron Menz as Ray Ray. You have this gang, the Hoover Street Deuces. Deuce for short. There's another guy up in the neighborhood, calls himself Genie Lamp, neighborhood heroin dealer. Deuce don't like this motherfucker. They butt heads quite often. They often hang out at the same spots. And one day, this Genie Lamp dude catches Bobby slipping away from the rest of the deuce, forces him to do some drugs and shit at gunpoint. So when Genie Lamp is caught slipping, Bobby, he comes up with the rest of the deuce and they handle business. Genie Lamp is taken care of. Bobby has a gun. He puts a potato on the, the barrel of the gun to kind of act as a silencer. And he kills that motherfucker Genie Lamp for being a fucking asshole. And a lot of time passes and nothing happens. And then one day, Bobby and his crew, they pick up this female that's on the road, like on the uh, on the sidewalk and shit. You know, she talking about, yeah, you want to have a good time, making it seem like she's ready to suck and ride everybody's dick. And uh, Loco, who's one of the member of the Deuce, he's one of the members. And Loco, you know, he got that name because he's, you know, he's pretty fucking crazy. And his personality is really out there and shit, and he's blabbing about how they took care of genie lamp and how they got drugs and shit like that and that gets them all caught and then bobby is in a situation where the cops are like look we know you killed genie lamp you better let us know what's up and then bobby's just like he don't he don't want to do it you know what i'm saying he ain't trying to give them a bunch of information he gets a 10-year prison sentence he doesn't get to see his son grow up. His son, Jimmy, who I got on screen here. Jimmy quickly took to the, the lifestyle of his father. You know, doing things for Ray Ray, stealing car stereos and shit like that. The whole time when Bobby was up in prison, he was still doing that deuce thing. But then eventually he met somebody up in prison, kind of whipped him into shape. You know, made him be a better person. And uh, by the time Bobby got out of prison, he was known as OG Bobby Johnson. He's a dude that took down the smack man. OG Bobby Johnson. It's a bad motherfucker right here. He just, you talking about he had a lot of respect on the street. Everybody like respect OG Bobby Johnson. Some motherfuckers fear him. Like, damn, if you cross this dude, he gonna straight up kill your ass. But see, at this point, OG Bobby... OG Bobby Johnson, this dude is a, a different person at this point. He ain't the same nigga. He different. And uh, you get to see what happens over the course of the film in terms of OG Bobby Johnson doing his thing, becoming a different man while he's in prison. His son is out there fucking up because he ain't got the guidance of his father. And his mother, uh, Jimmy's mother, she can't keep a hold of... Uh, of Jimmy, you know, Jimmy's always leaving and stealing her money and going out on the streets listening to Ray Ray, who's supposed to be Bobby's boy. But Ray Ray, he don't care about no Jimmy. He just cares about what Jimmy can do for him. He That's all he cares about. He just cares about what Jimmy can do for him. On the scale from 1 to 10, 1 being horseshit on a hot, smelly-ass day, and 10 being mind-blowingly amazing, I'm going to give this movie a 9.5 out of 10. I think it's really good. You got an awesome cast, you got a compelling story, well acted, and you go through the journey of uh, with OG Bobby Johnson, you know, you see him do his thing as a gangster, and then, you know, you see him end up in prison, you see him, you know, change his life around, and, you know, the movie's about him getting a second chance and trying to keep his son from dying, going down the wrong path, but can he get to his son in time, and you know, when somebody says they're your boy, you know, do they really care about you? Are they really your boy or do they just care about, 
you know, making money and, you know, if you're talking about gangs, they just care about making the gang bigger, like, what's up? So they go through all this and it's very compelling, very powerful, and they let you know that, man, that gang life, man, that shit ain't easy and oftentimes you get fucked over and and when you do, man, it just sometimes you don't get a second chance and if you get a second chance, what are you going to do with it? Thank you for being here, human. I want you to like this video, share it with your family, your friends, whatever humans you may know. Punch the shit out of the subscribe button to join the Terrence family. Terrence out.